Hello friends, in this video tutorial, let us see how to display images, that is external images as per data field in a SSRS report. Now by external images, what do we mean? Now in SSRS reports, there can be three type of images. First is embedded, right? That For that we have seen uh, the last video tutorial. Now second type of images are database images, that is those images which are stored directly into the database columns. And the third type is external. External means if you are getting the image, that is if the image source is either over the HTTP protocol or if you are getting image from directly from the physical file folder then or over a network shared drive, then such kind of images are called as external images. Okay. So we can even get image directly from a website. Okay, if we get the image URL location, then we can specify it in as part of the image source, and we can directly pull the image from our external website also. Okay, so now for this, I have prepared this report. So let us understand what I have done in this report. Okay, now over here, if you go to the image properties, we can show that this is a not an embedded image. Okay, so now if you go over here in images, there are no images added in the images folder. So there are no embedded images for this particular report. Whereas if you preview the report, then it is able to show so many images, right? Okay, so let us see how this has been done. Okay, so now first of all, we want to introduce the logo. Okay, this image called logo. So where is it stored? It is stored in this folder. Okay, this is the folder path where it is stored. Okay, and this is the logo image. Okay, so now we have to first of all copy this path. Okay, copy. Okay, then go over here, go to the image properties and paste this path over here. Okay, then replace a uh, single backslash character with a double backslash character everywhere. Okay, so I have replaced all the backslash characters which were single. I have replaced them to double backslash characters. Okay, so now this constitutes the whole image path and additionally, which is the protocol being used over here? It is the file protocol using which you are able to get the image. So just put this much in front of it. Just prepend it with file colon. Okay, so this is the whole path. So it starts with file colon, then the whole path that we have copy pasted. And the only thing that we have done is we have replaced single backslash character with the double backslash characters okay if you go to fx then it will give you everything as a single string remember that this is not an expression right this is a single string right it is not starting with equal to it is just a single string okay so now let us cancel okay and observe that when it is taking form of a single string in this expression window it the single the double backslash characters are actually evaluated as single backslash characters okay so it is uh, at the runtime they are evaluated as single backslash characters right in this format of a string now this information that we have studied right now will be use, useful for us in in this video tutorial going ahead right so this is how let's click okay so in the design time itself it will start showing the image okay so in the runtime also it will show the image okay Right, so this is how this logo image has come, and it has come by from the physical path. Okay, that is we have specified the protocol as file, so it is taking the image from the physical file folder path. Okay, right. So now let us go to the columns. Right, this is a region columns, sales first person, sales last person name. So these columns are same as the columns that we have been seeing in last many video tutorials. Right. Now let us come to this image related four columns. Okay. Now this is I have given the heading as HTTP image. Why I have just now discussed that as per external images, you can get external images from multiple sources. Source number one can be HTTP protocol. Okay. So if the image is available in any web server, and if web server server is serving the image on a given URL, then you can get that image URL and specify it okay so right click right click go to image properties over here you can specify a image url okay then at the runtime your reporting server will fetch that image and display in, inside the report okay so in this way http images can be shown now this column is file image so in this what i have done is i have used the same logic as it was applied for this 
displaying this logo that is the images are displayed using file protocol okay so if you go to fx then you can see that file is used okay whereas over here if you go go to fx it is http protocol is used okay now the thing is we do not want to display a static image for all column records right we do not want to display a static image for all column records but what we want is if suppose for the record contains uh, right now we are not showing the product type right so let us display that also okay so let us insert column to the left and let us display product name right okay let us click save let us go over here now let now if the product name is tv we want to display image of tv if the product name is cell phone we want to display image of cell phone if the product name is laptop we want to display image of laptop and if the product name is computer we want to display the image of a computer okay so that is our requirement so we don't want to hard code the image using the path that we have just discussed for the for the logo right we don't want to hard code the image what we want to do is we want to dynamically at the runtime see what is the value of this product name column and based on that that is this is this column will act as the data field okay so based on the value inside this data field column called product name we want to display the image okay now image source can be at two places one is the physical file folder it will be the same file folder which we have used for the adventure works logo so i have got all these four images in the same file folder okay or second is it can be lying on on a http now instead of using uh, these images which i have downloaded from internet now instead of using this uh, the image urls for these images from directly from web what i have done is i have created and generally in your project scenarios also what you will have is you will have your own images which you can deploy or put inside a web server in your own web server right so your images inside your project will not be lying scattered across the internet right they will be you will have the control over those images you will have all those images which you can deploy to your own web server right so what i have done is i have gone to iis okay i have created a uh, this uh, virtual directory okay i have created ssrs underscore images as the virtual directory right and what i have done is i have enabled directory browsing okay so i have gone to uh, directory browsing okay feature open feature and now enable the feature okay so now once directory browsing is enabled now what is and what is the path that i have uh, mapped for this ssrs images virtual directory path is nothing but this folder okay so now for this iis virtual directory the, the content is only this much there are only this five image files lying there is no aspx file there is no html file there are only five image files lying for this virtual directory folder and that's why web.config file is existing it has been auto created when i mapped my virtual directory to this particular folder okay so that's why this web.config file has been put over here by iis okay now these are the only images file which the iis should be able to serve why because i have specified this folder as a virtual directory right i have mapped this folder to the virtual directory so hence if you go to iis okay if i go to localhost okay and if i go to ssrs images let's say i go to localhost right and inside the localhost so iis is working fine if i go to ssrs underscore images then i have enabled the directory browsing okay so now i am able to get the list of directory uh, list of images in or list of files inside this directory right and we are having all these five image files only and the web.config file right so if i click on laptop.image then this is the url this is the http based url where my image is lying okay so that's the most important thing to understand now similarly we can get url for different images also like cell phone right or computer right or tv right so this is the way we can get url for different images all the four images now or in case if you are preparing let's say you are displaying list of all the students in a class or in a college then all those images of students can be lying over here okay with the name right the images can have the name of the student and the name can be also present in one of the database columns so based on that you can pull the images from this folder okay now let us go to ssdt now what i have done to pull this html images okay i hope you understood what is the path being taken right so if i go to 
notepad now this is the path on which the image is lying okay and we also know that once we go and uh, once we go to this image let's say right then once we go to fx that is when we want to have dynamic images the thing that this uh, the ssrs report expects is a, a string okay the final output that the ssrs report expects is a string okay so we have to form a string okay dynamically so for this uh, what i have done is i have used string dot format function okay and i have put this whole path over here okay i only replaced uh, this laptop part because this is dynamic in nature right only replace that with a parameter and i am passing that parameter by converting the product dot first name value okay and similar this happens when the case is with http similarly same logic works when the case is with file okay so i uh, use string dot format function for file also okay if you go to file go to image properties go to fx then whatever is written over here i have copy pasted in the notepad okay so what happens i will use the string dot format function file and then the whole path and then the parameter dot jpg and the parameter is convert to string and product name dot value okay so i am again showing the whole thing over here so it's uh, string dot format is the whole file colon and then the whole path then this is the dynamic part that is the name of the image dot jpg and the name of the image will come from the data field value which is the product name dot value okay so in this way we can get the whole uh, path constituted runtime right and hence and uh, what i'm doing as an extra thing is just uh, to verify that our path was constructed properly for both http as well as for file images i am just printing that path over here okay i am just printing that expression value over here so it will give the whole path from where the image is being picked the runtime by ssrs engine right so over here also if you go into the expression i have just copy pasted the whole expression over here so that we are able to see what is the exact path from where the image is being picked up by ssrs at at runtime right so that's it and if you preview the image uh, report we can see that the images are being picked up correctly and are being displayed correctly and which is the path from where these images are being picked up they are the path which we have generated at runtime using expressions and this is the path for http files right which we are also displaying and this is the path for image uh, file base uh, path uh, file folder uh, physical folder related path which we are also displaying and it starts with a file colon right as the protocol so i hope friends this video tutorial on how to display images dynamically using expressions based on the data field values is useful to you thank you